What is up people, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the new video. Today's video is, as you guys can see on the title, a little bit of an explanation video because as you guys again saw in the title, I ran 10 kilometers once a week for a total of 12 weeks. And I kind of want to show you guys why I did it, how I did it and also the results that came from it. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. The reason I actually ran 10 kilometers for a total of 12 weeks um, is because of school reasons. Now, I've actually talked about this in one of my previous videos. One of the things that we had to do this year was uh, be able to run 10 kilometers uh, in under a certain time. So basically, they gave it a shooting date. The shooting date was the 17th of May. Uh, and we got a time that we had to beat. We had to uh, make ourselves a 12-week running program. Um, and then uh, do a block twice a week on how we were doing um, with the program. So basically that was what I did, so 12 weeks running for school. Um, for me personally, my shooting time was to run 10 kilometers in less than 57 minutes, which for me, which for me was actually very, 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 very doable. The first week I actually ran 10 kilometers in under, I think, 55 minutes, so I pretty much beat the um, shooting time for me uh, the first week But I actually wanted to see how good I can um, How good I can make my time uh, in 12 weeks of running um, And basically just run the 10 kilometers as fast as I could so that was the reason why I did it now We actually are going to look at the 12 week pro process so what I did every single week was I ran 10 kilometers every single Sunday. Uh, I've also done, I think, one of the vlogs uh, on a Sunday showing you guys that I actually did it in, uh, in the rain. I will link that video there if you guys want to see it. Um, so basically, every single Sunday I did run about 10 kilometers um, in the afternoon. Now, keep in mind, uh, I also combined this running schedule with my calisthenics training program. I did a uh, upper body workout twice a week uh, during this 12-week time. Um, so that's also something that you guys want to keep in mind. Um, and also during this time I did track my calories and macros as I always do. So now we're going to take a look at the results uh, of that 12 week progress. So the first week I ran 10 kilometers uh, with a time of uh, 54 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, after 12 weeks of running I actually got that one down to 51 minutes and 56 seconds. So I basically um, did almost three minutes better than the first week. Now, can you get more than three minutes of your time uh, in a 12 week period? Um, I definitely think so. Like, I only ran like once a week uh, for those 12 weeks. I mean, and if you up that to, you know, two times a week, uh, three times a week, if you do a little bit of hit training um, in higher heart rate ranges, um, I think you can definitely, you know, make a lot more progress. Um, in those 12 weeks now for me I didn't do it for the very simple reason that my goal right now is not to Improve my endurance and to improve my running uh, significantly like I wanted to see how good I can uh, Make my time in those 12 weeks um, But I wasn't going to put everything into it because again uh, My goal is more calisthenics focused and not running focused now also uh, if we're going to take a look at my body transformation uh, I'm going to overlay some pictures uh, of myself uh, before and after uh, the 12 week period. Now, personally for me, I don't see a massive difference. Now, the very simple reason for that is because during those 12 weeks, uh, I actually tracked my macros and I ate consistently at maintenance. If I wouldn't have uh, tracked my macros in that 12 week period, I definitely think that I could have lost some weight um, uh, in the form of body fat, but uh, I just ate and maintenance for the entirety of the 12 week period which uh, resulted in me not losing any body fat. Now this is also something that I do want to touch on. Uh, a lot of people when they start running uh, a lot um, in a certain time frame they will often portray uh, this image of you know if you just run uh, and just do a lot of cardio uh, you will lose weight. Now that is true to a certain extent but the reason that you lose weight is because you are in a calorie deficit and if you take the cal calorie deficit away by out eating what you are burning in those training sessions you will not lose any weight but obviously um, 
increasing your calorie expenditure will make it a lot easier to stick to a calorie deficit so that was the video guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it um, i'm also gonna make a, a video talking about how to combine running and calisthenics to um, achieve any goal that you want maybe you just want to do cardio and you want to uh, still be in a calorie surplus or maintenance maybe you want to do cardio and go into a calorie deficit for any of those goals i will explain to you guys how to approach it uh, also i will uh, explain to you how to combine your training splits and your cardio routine um, for whatever goal that you do have um, but that is something for a future video so for now i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like and subscribe if you have any suggestions on videos that you do want to see or any or anything that you think might improve my content you know where the comment section is will be highly appreciated if you leave something there um and for now hope you guys enjoyed the video and i see you guys next time